this building, it gets the imagination going. It gets people sort of thinking about things that they didn't think about before they stepped in and saw this building. This project really takes it to a much broader level in terms of our awareness of the environment. When it's completed, it will be the first cross-laminated timber building in San Francisco, as well as the first multi-story mass timber building in California. This is the former site of the San Francisco Gravel Company, which was owned and operated by a family that is now partners with SKS. And they ran that business for about 75 years. They wanted to take this old gravel yard and, and make something that they could pass on to their kids. There are a lot of interesting challenges on the site. Obviously, it's a triangular site. Mission Creek runs by the back of the site in underground big concrete culverts. So the challenge was we couldn't put the building where the culverts were. So we have a deep pile foundation system. And given the weight of the concrete structure, the foundation system was very expensive. That's when we started having these conversations about potentially mass timber, and that was the first point that mass timber came to the table. We really studied the material early on in the design process, where we actually took the design through concrete and mass timber simultaneously and, and priced those against each other. We made the decision like, to go with mass timber based on cost decisions and looking for something that was aesthetically beautiful. CLT is a new application of an old building material. Essentially, it takes the principles of a glue lamb beam. The easiest way to think about CLT is as a giant plywood panel, except you replace each ply with dimensional lumber like two by fours that are glued together and arranged at right angles to each other. The Wanda Hero project used seven ply CLT panels as their floor slab and have them top flush with the supporting glue line members. Perkins and Will has long been leaders in mass timber construction. We were thrilled with the opportunity to be the first to bring CLT to San Francisco. This area is zoned PDR. It's production, distribution, and repair. Essentially light manufacturing. Worked with some experimental zoning, we're able to develop was two-thirds office over one-third PDR. Creative office quite often are people who work with fabricators. You know, they're people who interact and collaborate together. You're just making a more vital part of the city. In the Bay Area, particularly San Francisco, we have a number of innovative companies that are really conscious of their environmental impact. The benefits of mass timber are countless, and they're more than just the raw cost of the material. You have to look more holistically. The carbon footprint of the mass timber building versus a concrete or steel building is substantially less. Wood is the only 100% renewable resource that we build with. Concrete can be recycled to some extent. Steel is mostly recycled, but there's still a finite amount of it in the world. The wood that we source actually comes from the 11th largest certified FSC forest in the world, part of the Boreal Forest in Quebec. Part of the sustainable forestry practices is to ensure that we never harvest more than the growth that happens in a forest, meaning that we can ensure a continual supply of material for generations to come. It makes me feel connected to nature, and when I'm in a mass timber building, it feels healthy and warm and just special. This concept of biophilia, which is the feeling of being surrounded by a wood environment. It's amazing how beautiful it is in there. So you don't have to spend money to cover up ugly construction. You just have to, you know, celebrate the beauty of the wood. It comes off the truck from Shibugamu, Canada, and was ready to be erected in place. Over a matter of a few months, the building went up. The building consists of just over a million board feet of lumber. 
It's designed to go up like a set of Legos. Every single element that goes into the project is modeled, including the screws, dowels, bolts, and even the finish that's applied on every element to make sure that every pipe, every other trade has a place to go. We figure out the most efficient way to install the, the sequencing of the installation of the building that then produces pieces that are sequentially numbered so that when trucks arrive to site, the first piece is always on top. It was so intuitive the way that it came off the truck. It took about two months to erect the mass timber portion of the building. They move so fast that you see it and they're already locked in, you know, they're on to the next thing. Because it's prefabricated, because it's manufactured in the shop and coordinated beforehand, it is extremely precise, it's very accurate, it's seamless to construct. And the specific detailing of mass timber allowed us to actually notch the bottom of the column where the concrete pour is going to come up. So it again allows for an extremely clean detail when everything is finished. Additionally, we have a little knife plate going through the columns and that's coming from the column below up through this column and it's through bolted through either side. And that's just to make sure that everything stays in place. There's a nice positive connection. Things aren't going to go anywhere. I would say the city of San Francisco was very supportive of us doing the first CLT building. The future for Mass Timber is extremely exciting. There's not many times in our industry, whether it's the design or the construction industry, that we really get to introduce something completely new. The new building code is going to allow mass timber construction up to 18 stories on top of a concrete podium. So we really could be looking up to 270 feet. Things change, right? Change is good. That's how we evolve and innovate. Right now, this one shows a lot of promise. We've just begun to scratch the surface about how big the material can be to the industry. I think it's accelerating now as we speak. We had three offers to take the entire building, and I think the two really fundamental qualifications for that was the sustainability aspect and the environmental impact, and also the aesthetics. We want to build things that inspire people. And uh, for me, that's exciting. You know, as we think about changing our cities, how can we make the city better by each building we put in each place, kind of give something that gives back to the city in the hundreds of years to come.